It's Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming back with another Palmer's tutorial. So this was my failed twist and curl I guess <laughs> and it wasn't the product. This product is amazing. This is their curl extend hair pudding. It has become a holy grail but I did do this twist and curl which was the style before I did my wash and go. Um, but I picked it too much and it went crazy. But anyway, you guys said you want to see this failed hairstyle. So I'm going to show you. So the tutorial is pretty good. However, the only mistake I made is with the hair pick. Per usual, I just went ham with that um, pick and messed up every piece of a curl so <laughs> so you can follow along it's pretty easy um all i'm doing is twisting my hair with just the curl pudding on dry hair this is like a day um old hair i guess i washed my hair the day before using the palmer's products and now this is me styling it um so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory i'm not going to bore you guys with my rambling i am just going to hush up and let you listen to some tunes. Um, oh, before I do um, go just with the music, why well, I can't talk? I do want to show you guys my technique for applying this perm rod. So what I do is I twist the ends first and I hold it in place to kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, okay, let's look at this one. All right, so I'm applying the product. Doing some finger detangling, and then I'm going to use this um, detangling brush, which is by From Beauty. I recently did a takeover on their page. Um, their tools are pretty awesome. Like, I've been using all of them. That clip is from that company as well. But anyway, so we're smoothing out the hair. Still smoothing out the hair. I was feeling those curls. When I saw my curls popping, that's what made me do just like a regular just you know, showing my true pattern. So I'm twisting the hair and then I'm leaving about like two inches untwisted. And that's the part that I want the perm rod to um, curl. So look, I'm wrapping it, holding it in place and sliding it down. So the very end is on the perm rod. And then I'm like twisting it around in the same area like two or three times and then I'm going up the length of the rod. So basically it's like a wrapping motion for that very end so it can be nice and smooth and curly. But anyway, I thought that was a, a awesome tip but now that I'm saying it doesn't really make any sense. But here, here's a close up. See, I twist it around, hold it in place and then I slide it down because that's like combing the end of the hair and smoothing it out then I stop it and wrap it around in the same spot one or two times and then I just go up the rest of the rod does that make sense because I always feel like the ends are a pain in the butt so that technique worked for me of course until I picked it out but anyway I'm gonna go you guys hope you hopefully you guys are enjoying this and yeah this was just a random upload since you guys said you want to see my failed style so here it is enjoy <laughs> thanks for watching guys So I'm back. This is after I sat under the dryer for about an hour 
really it didn't even need to be that long because my hair was just like product damp it wasn't wet like water um but i'm just being careful of course taking this down separating um each section maybe like two to three times maybe more because <laughs> i go crazy taking my hair down i know i'm not the only one who screws up their whole style by pulling it apart too much and picking the heck out of the fro but i was very impressed with the shine and the definition and then look at me, just messing it up. Well, I'm not messing it I didn't mess it up yet. I think it's once I have it in a puff, I went too far. Um, so don't go too far, you guys. So I just took out a little section at the top. And then, of course, just put the rest in a puff. Um, I always wear puffs. Y'all, let's talk about this edge control. So when I first applied it, I was scared. Because look, girl, what if I went out like that? <laughs> oh my god yeah I was a little bit scared and I was gonna take this part out of the video but let's keep it real like I don't want y'all to use this and just immediately be like oh heck no Yolanda told me to use this this is not how it looked on her hair but look at this what like no that is real footage like did you see that it like disappeared and look at my edges I was really worried, you guys, but the, it seriously just went away as soon as I brushed it. It was like a magic eraser. <laughs> and not an eraser where it just, like, took the product off my hair. It really just melted it in and really placed my edges. I was impressed. But anyway, that's enough talking because I said I wasn't going to talk anymore. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial again. Don't pick your puff out too much like I'm about to do, okay? Just leave it alone. Let the definition just stay how it is and let it get bigger each day, okay? Don't be like me. Don't be like Yolanda, okay? <laughs> All right, bye, you guys. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. that's it hopefully you guys love this tutorial don't forget check out palmers and my ig page to learn more about these products all right girls goodbye for real this time Mwah.